Let's do a grid art meditation in the scribble blob technique, as you see here. So for supplies, I have my Arteza watercolor brush pens, or they're called real brush pens. We're doing a fall color palette today. I also have my water brush pens filled with water. I've got my Sharpie permanent marker, and I've got two Posca paint pens, one in gold, one in bronze. So we're going with metallics today. I've got my artist tape and watercolor paper, which I cut down a large sheet to the size you see here. And to make this fun, we're gonna do the four squares on the left with my left hand and the four squares on the right with my right hand. So grab your watercolor brush pens and start making marks on the dry paper. So I'm doing this technique with the watercolor pens on dry watercolor paper. We're going to come back and add water after we've gotten the color down on the paper. And I'm experimenting with different mark making. These are essentially scribbles or blobs, hence the aptly named scribble blob technique. But the point here is to Keep a fairly loose grip and let yourself put the color on the paper intuitively. So there's no pre-planning. I'm not mapping this out beforehand. And since I have the four squares or rectangles here, I wanted to play around with different kinds of marks on the paper. And if you find yourself thinking about how it's looking or, oh, I messed up or, oh, I better, you know, come back in here and fix this. I want you to continue without correcting to the best of your ability. If you can catch yourself thinking about how this is looking, I want you to bring awareness to that thought. And that can sound as simple as you catch yourself in the thought, oh, this isn't looking quite right. Oh, here I am judging the way this is looking. So just bring awareness to, oh, isn't that interesting? I'm not being in the process. I'm judging the process. And that's a nice meditation practice to bring awareness back to the present moment and what's happening on the paper instead of thinking about what's happening on the paper. So you want to be part of this process with your senses and with your awareness or with your focus. I'm bringing in the water brush pen now. What I like to do is add some droplets from above and then I go back in and start blending. So that's the part of the process you see here. And this part is very relaxing. There is something very soothing about going in and starting to blend the colors together. We're finally bringing in the water onto the paper. And just the fluidity of this, you know, as you're doing this, notice how it feels, the difference with the water brush pen when there's water on the paper compared to the first part of the process when you had the watercolor pens on dry paper. It sounds different. It feels different. The tool feels different. And also just the way the brush goes across the paper feels different. So notice those things. Notice the differences you start to feel at different stages of the process. And again, we're coming back to that idea that you want to be a part of the process rather than judging the process or thinking about the process. And so while I experimented with different marks on each square, so the one I'm working on now, you can see there's sort of the diagonal lines compared to the one right next to it, it has more of the scribbles just kind of all over the place. I might notice that 
and I let myself feel into what's happening with my awareness. So I hope that makes sense. And really just the simple way to say this is to let yourself go here. And now we're moving on to the left hand. I'm doing the exact same step-by-step -step process where first I'll put the color on the dry paper. And once I've done that in all of the rectangles here, I'll go back and blend with water. And I'm even kind of mimicking the mark making that I had on the right side. So there can be some comparison here. And the comparison is hopefully more of a sensory comparison. So I'm really paying attention to how it feels to make these same marks with my left hand. So I am right handed. This left handed technique, I mean, this is me using my non dominant hand, and it feels so awkward. And it's so interesting to me how simple scribbles and just making marks on the paper can feel so uncomfortable just switching to my left hand. And as I did this, I let myself lean into that awkwardness. Sometimes it can help to sync your breathing with mark making or to try to move your awareness from what's happening on the paper to your breath. And it might sound like multitasking, but when I bring my awareness from what's happening on the paper into my breath, there's this instant drop into flow state where it's almost like I, I am not controlling the process. I'm not controlling the tool in my hand. It's kind of hard to put words to, but when you really pay attention to your breath while you are drawing or coloring, that's why I like to just call it scribbling to kind of remove that sense of pressure or like there's any kind of technique you need to pay attention to here. But when I am really connected to my breath as I do that, it just flows through me in a way that feels more natural, comfortable, relaxing. And this is just my experience. It might be very different for you. But I will admit, with this left-handed side of the paper, I did find myself getting kind of pulled out of the flow state because I was coming back to, this is so awkward. Why isn't the brush moving the way I want it to move? I felt very slow and kind of heavy, clumsy. And so for me, as I was doing this, I just tried to notice when that was happening and come back to my breath or come back to the sensations on the paper. And I do say don't worry about technique too much when you're doing this particular style. I did blend the oranges first, then I have a cloth out of the camera view that I would wipe the tip of my water brush on, go back and blend the red, the brown, and the green, just to prevent a lot of muddying. And once this was done, I feel like this is complete. I let that dry, made sure the paper was completely flat, completely dry. And now we're bringing in the Sharpie. So for this part, with a very loose grip, you want to outline what you see on the paper. So we're not looking for perfect outlines. This is a scribble blob art meditation, I remind you. So I'm just loosely outlining the shapes that I notice on the paper.
Now let's do the left hand. So again, just loose grip. And it was interesting. The tip of the marker was dragging against the paper. I kind of had to readjust to get that smooth, fluid movement, but we got there. This part of the process, whether you're using your right hand or your left hand, I, I'll speak for myself, is really great for untangling thoughts. So this might be a part of the process now that you've had that watercolor time and the blending with water part of the process and you've gotten hopefully into a relaxed flow state. This part of the process, I like to bring up anything that I might be struggling with or having anxious thoughts or worries about. And I like to imagine I'm getting those worries out onto the paper through the scribbles. And here I've come back and I'm doing more scribbles on top of or inside the bigger outline that I did in the first part. So we've got some smaller scribbles, some hatch marks, some, some stippling or, you know, the dots I might just make some dots against the paper. Um, but this one sounds different than the other parts of the process. You could say this part of the process is definitely noisier especially when you make those dots on the paper and it's cathartic. There is a release here. And it might be different every time, depending on what's going on in your life. My family and I are moving to a different state next month and have a lot of things on my to-do list and things to make sure get done on time. A lot of work ahead of us. And as I did this particular piece, that's what I was thinking about. And letting go of the worries, oh, what if, you know, I forget to do something, or what if it's more expensive than we're planning on? Now I'm bringing in the metallic paint pens. I'm going to use gold for the top two grids, and I'll use the bronze on the bottom two. But following a similar technique I just did with the Sharpie, you'll take your metallic paint pen, or any color paint pen is fine. Sometimes I use my tempera paint sticks, my quick sticks, and you'll make some scribble outlines, the hatch marks, the dots. So just let this feel really good. Bringing in the color scribbles at the end brings a sort of sense of closure, kind of like I'm buttoning up my thought process. Now we'll try this with the left hand. It's again a little awkward figuring out how to get the pen to go smoothly across the paper using my left hand. So I'm still noticing what I feel, how this feels. But this is really, this is about 20 minutes into the art meditation total, not including the drying time, by the way. And my brain feels very much like, ah, that's nice, as I start to get towards the end of this process. And if you're wondering how long to let your paper dry between the watercolor blending phase and this scribble phase, I recommend about 30 minutes, maybe more if you used a lot of water. And you could meditate, you could take a nap, you could do laundry, get some work done, read a book, listen to music. I mean, fill that time when it's drying with any activity that feels good or gives you a little more ease in the rest of your day. Okay, now my favorite part. We're peeling off the tape. And I had layered this tape on in different ways, so we kind of have a little weave going here. So figuring out where each of those tape pieces start and end. And you know, I always like how these scribble blobs look in full, like without, you know, taking the tape off and seeing the crisp edges. So sometimes I don't tape this down at all and I just leave it fully blob-like, but today I was feeling like I just needed some of that cleanup. The clean edges, crisp borders was calling to me, so I wanted to do this in the grid style that you see here. And there we go. There is our scribble blob art meditation. 
grid style. We've got our left hand and right hand versions, and this felt so good. So if you try this, I hope you get to relax, enjoy yourself, and creatively express. Thanks for watching.